It's estimated that the amount of plant life the oceans produce can be up to 10 times that on dry land, and that marine plants have produced over 85% of the planet's oxygen. The huge areas of phanerogams that extend throughout the Mediterranean shores, besides being primary producers, lend protection and provide food to many species that, together with their prolific interactions with other biotopes, make these Mediterranean tapeweed prairies among the most fruitful in the planet. Beyond the continental shelf, many pelagic beings also feel the call of the moon. From the onset of spring, thousands of bluefin tuna weighing up to 450 kilograms have entered en masse through the Strait of Gibraltar to converge with other groups in various key places in the Mediterranean where they were born. Throughout their journey, they don't eat a thing. They only have room for their precious genetic cargo, which they will unload in a spectacular dance of fertilization in perfect synchrony with the full moon that hovers above the Mediterranean. Unfortunately, a decreasing number of specimens have been reaching their destination because of their increasing value in the international markets. Too many of them are captured before they're able to unload their legacy at the mercy of the currents. Many opportunists punctually attend the banquet, from denophora and jellyfish to long chains of small salps or solitary adults. They all feed on eggs, larvae, and an endless array of microorganisms that, like them, are dragged here by the soft but noteworthy currents of this closed sea. Once fertilization takes place, the tuna's eggs undergo cellular division after a brief incubation period in the placid and warm waters of the Mediterranean. In the meantime, a large number of these eggs will become fodder for active zooplankton, jellyfish, and great filtering cetaceans. The spot chosen is not a coincidence. Somehow, bluefins are aware of the riches of these places. Although they seem infertile, they are in reality a rich garden of microscopic life, sheltering a large variety of phytoplankton and zooplankton formed by the larvae of thousands of species, some of other tuna, and many others of coastal or benthic origin. This guarantees a constant food source for the small tuna when they are born. Young bluefins develop very quickly. Recently hatched, they are active swimmers and highly voracious. In a few months, they will abandon the Mediterranean in herds and will not return until the ages of three or four, when already weighing 30 kilograms, they feel the call of the moon for the first time. Exactly what the tuna does here in the Mediterranean was discovered a very short time ago. After so many centuries, this sea is still a true mystery. Mankind, which has fed off its hand, is now more concerned with prospecting the seabed than with trying to understand the natural behaviors of the species that inhabit it, which is the key to deciphering the secret to ocean regeneration. Instead of this, we are using this huge water surface as an enormous wasteland, polluting and plundering its highly valuable natural resources without allowing it to recuperate.
The effects of non-selective fishing endanger hundreds of species that aren't even marketed. And uncontrolled depredation of individuals that have not yet reproduced is devastating. For such an interrelated macroorganism as the Mediterranean Sea, the disappearance of species that are apparently insignificant causes serious imbalances in its global function. We have to understand that each living organism has multiple specific biological functions and that just because we don't see a species as interesting doesn't mean they're not important. The origins of life on our planet are found in the oceans and it is precisely because of this that oceans might hold the solutions to innumerable enigmas, many of which continue to be hidden under the dark mantle of the Mare Nostrum after dark. This small ocean, with an incredible capacity to regenerate itself, only needs us to give it a break and to dedicate more individual and collective effort to understanding and protecting it, so that it can accompany mankind along its next evolutionary step, a more sustainable future. <laughs>